Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a vlog style updates video. I haven't made an updates video this whole year as of yet, so I decided to do one today. Um, I have quite a few updates. First off, I wanted to thank you all so much for 8,000 subscribers. That truly is amazing. My channel has gone such a long way and I'm just so grateful to all of you who support and comment and subscribe to my channel and thumbs up. It just, it really is amazing. And honestly, all your support really does mean the world to me. It's awesome. I just, I love YouTube. And actually a little surprise update that I have is that I will be hosting a fairly big contest at 10,000 which is amazing and we're not too far away, we're only 2k away so I'm really excited about that. Now my second update is more just about videos in general um, but actually I got a new computer. Uh, this is the MacBook Air and I bought it for myself a little while ago and I'm really excited because it comes with iMovie which is definitely a step up from the editor that I was using before which was Windows Live Movie Maker so I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully the editing in my videos will become a bit better. I don't know about the next couple of videos though since I'm still trying to get a hang of the program. Now we'll get on to the pet updates which I'm sure are the ones that you guys really care about. Um, first off, this is kind of a sad update. Now I know I don't share with you guys my family dogs, um, mostly just because this channel is small pet related so I just show you all of my personal small pets, but I do have two dogs, I have filmed a few videos with them. But anyways, if you follow me on Instagram you would already know this, but in March we actually had to put down one of my dogs which was absolutely horrible. I basically had to say goodbye to my best friend which was very tough for my family and I. It was not a good month at all. Um, if you're not familiar, it was my dog Jake. He's Both of my dogs are golden doodles, half golden retriever, half standard poodle. And Jake was 10 years old and he was suffering from oral cancer. It was a particularly aggressive cancer, only locally, but it had already gone into the bone. So, you know, there was no sort of treatment for that because you can't amputate a jaw. So as a family, we decided to put him down, put him out of his misery because we didn't want him to get to the point where he was suffering or not himself. Uh, Jake, he was a crazy dog, but he really loved food, like that was the way to his heart. And we never wanted him to get to a point where, you know, he wouldn't eat. It just, I didn't want him to go out that way. He, he deserved dignity going out, if you kind of get what I'm saying. So that was definitely a hard time. Uh, if you've lost any any pet really but you know especially pets with longer lifespans like cats dogs even rabbits it's really difficult because you know they're just part of your life they've been with you for so long so imagining life without them is really difficult but life does go on sadly you know all creatures including us do have a lifespan and you just got to enjoy the moments while they're here so I guess with the updates, we'll start with Eddie Bunny, since she's posing for the camera very nicely. She's a very pretty girl. Eddie has been doing pretty well this year. Um, she has had some digestive problems, which I've mentioned before, which haven't really improved, but kind of. I mean, they're just kind of on-off. I think it has to do with her ingesting hair, which... I don't know, it's kind of the inevitable because as much as I do brush her, you know, I can't constantly be around and she will ingest hair because, you know, she can pull out tufts on her own. But other than that, Eddie has basically been doing fine. She's just been a naughty little rabbit, like she usually is. Hey, pretty girl, she doesn't look very spunky right now, but she is. Excuse the cages, by the way, they're just kind of a mishmash of every single color of fleece you could possibly imagine. Uh, since I didn't have very much clean fleece left. But this is the couple. There's Ollie and then Pebbles, I think is in the igloo. Not really sure, but they are doing fine. And then we've got the boys up here. There's a little Coco Bear who's doing well. And then we've got a Felix. Over there, there's Felix. Um, the guinea pigs, you know, nothing's really new. And in this case, no news is good news. And then we have Eddie's little cage, and we have Smudge in his little 2x3, 
and Smudge has been doing fantastic. He's honestly just such a lovely guinea pig. I really, really love him. He's super cute, and he's also really tame. Like, you can put your hand in the cage and, you know, he appreciates a couple of pets. And, yeah, this is just his cage. It's a little two by three. I haven't bonded him yet with the boys. I'm going to be doing that soon. Um, his bum is basically all better. It's not really greasy anymore. There's just a little bit, but I've been washing it, and all the grease is basically out, which is very good news. However, it hasn't been a very good month for my girlies. Charlotte is the sick piggy this month. So basically, Charlotte is suffering from what I would consider pretty severe bumblefoot. It's not too severe how it, it hasn't like the infection hasn't gone to her bone or anything. Um, it is being treated, but it is pretty bad. It is an open wound on the bottom of her foot. Um, I will be having a whole video all about bumblefoot and guinea pigs, her recovery, the treatment I gave her, all of that sort of stuff. So I'm not going to go into it in this video, but it has definitely been a stressful month regarding her foot. You can kind of see her foot is very swollen. Very, very, very swollen. Bumblefoot is definitely a painful infection. Not fun for sure. And before anyone comments or asks, no, it's not because of improper care or that she's housed on, you know, a wired cage, obviously. Like, she has a little fleece kingdom to herself. Um, it is regarding her weight. Uh, she is obese. I am aware of that. I have tried to work on her weight. So that wraps up my video, guys. I know it was quite a lengthy, chatty sort of video. I'm sorry if I blabbered on too much, but there was a lot of information I just wanted to share with you guys, so I decided to put it in this like vlog style video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I not have a name as of yet. I will leave it in the description if I've made a decision, but I'm always so indecisive with names. I want to choose the perfect one that fits their personality.